welcome back to our channel so students in this video we are going to revise the fourth unit in rdbms subject in our previous videos i have already uploaded unit number 2 unit number 5 and unit number 1 so unit number 3 also i have uploaded only unit number 4 is balance okay now in this video we are discussing about the unit number 4 that is transaction and concurrency management so this is a unit name so what is mean by transaction students a transaction okay it is a task to be performed in a different uh, transactions so what is mean by transaction it is an atomic unit a collection of actions that transforms for data from a database is known as transactions okay so this is not that much important just i am giving this uh, thing concept okay so whatever the important concept we are having in unit number 4 is acid properties acid properties you are having no that is atomicity consistency isolation and durability what is mean by also uh, uh, atomicity means here you are having see successful execution of trans uh, transaction at all atomicity means this property state that the transaction must be treated as an atomic unit that is either all its operations are executed or not whether he must or he should check that whether it is executed or not that is called the atomicity next one is consistency consistency means whatever the data we are required for that purpose that is called a consistency data consistency is very much important okay the next one is isolation what is mean by isolation in a in a database system where one more than one transaction are been executed simultaneously then we will use this isolation and the last one is durability durability means more than durable to hold all its latest updates is known as durability if you learn all these concepts means you will easily get to know instead of uh, whatever i have will explain it is not that much worthy ma according to me because uh, it is better you to learn the concept okay so as it is a uh, some of the technical concepts you people are having okay next we will discuss about the lock and locking protocols what is mean by lock and locking protocols so what is mean by lock uh, to control concurrency execution of transaction is known as locking system okay how many types of locking we are having binary locks and exclusive share locks okay binary locks means the binary locking is a data item is locked by a transaction no other transaction can be used to data item okay students so in this how many types we are having locked or one unlocked or zero so this is not a thing that much thing okay just remember all these things okay next uh, two phase locking system two phase locking system or two phase locking system is also an important question so try to learn this okay how many types of two phase locking system we are having strict two uh, pl and conservative two pl and the rigorous two pl this is not that much important the most important question is deadlock what is mean by deadlock a deadlock is a condition where two or more tasks are waiting for each other in order to be finished okay in order to be finished we use two or more task or waiting for each other okay students that is called deadlock how many types of deadlock we are having exclusive use and the cyclical vast these are all the following conditions conditions which are using the deadlock so here we are having deadlock deduction deadlock prevention and deadlock avoidance what is mean by deadlock prevention detection means this is the thing just you need to learn you will easily get to understand the whole concept ma okay so next one means uh, next one is deadlock recovery in that only how we need to recover the deadlock okay so it has to be removed it can be different ways to including by giving the some some of the backup and recovery techniques we will recover that uh, deadlock okay ma next uh, deadlock prevention how we need to deadlock prevention means weight die and wound weight weight die and wound weight this is the two types where you are having a deadlock prevention you need to explain about that okay and the last one is deadlock avoidation avoidance we need to deadlock avoidance the system dynamically changes every request and detects whether it is having a safe to grant it or not okay and the next concept from unit number 4 is database recovery 
how we need to database recovery it is a process of restoring data that has been lost accidentally or deleted or anything we are getting the data back means that is called database recovery that only they have written whole para okay ma so in this how many types you are having long based recovery shadow paging recovery and checkpoint recovery so this is three things you need to explain about that and types of database failures is not that much important and the next what concept you are having database errors also is not important and the last one is database backup database and backup okay what how will backup the best way to storing and backup is, is online using it can be assist anytime and anywhere how we two types of uh, backup techniques we are having online backup and offline backup it is also known as hot backup and cold backup okay what is mean by hot backup or online backup means you need to explain this okay after completing that cold offline backup means this okay database security means here you are having the diagram see here you are having the diagram database end users database security system here you are having the database okay here you are having the database no one can directly access the database okay students next next what we are having database recovery techniques diagram you need to draw this diagram compulsory compulsory you need to draw this diagram okay after drawing this diagram just you need to explain all that what is mean by authentication authentication means giving verifies whether is, is, this user is our person or not okay that is called authentication what is mean by authorization where he performs everything whether he is an authorized person or not next what is integrity integrity means accuracy data accuracy okay so the next and the last one is availability availability of information means measure the authorized people are able to access the information or not is called as availability so what are the things backs up backups are used to ensure availability of information so in this unit just to learn deadlock and its preventions backup recovery techniques and uh, restore uh, uh, procedures that this type of question both the questions is important and this both questions is only enough from fourth unit i hope that you have got like this video so i will upload this pdf in telegram group so try to watch that uh, video uh, pdf for the preparation purpose students okay all the very best for your examination and preparation see you all in the next video bye bye and do comment me in the comment section how you felt about the video and how you have written your examination okay all the very best and thank you so much